excited. So we can't check in yet because the like room isn't ready or something. Like check in is after three. It's like two. So we've come for a little walk around the beach and oh my God, you guys need to see this. Like how insane is this? The water is so blue. It's so warm, which I'm just absolutely loving. We're like right on the beach. Cause like the beach is like here and our hotel is there. Of course we would find the protein bread. Oh my god, but they're tiny little pieces of bread. <laughs> Welcome to the room tour. This is the bathroom. So we've got this like really nice shower. It is so big and nice. And there's the mirror. Here's me my little travel outfit. I've been sweating. Um, got all the little bits. Oh my god, it's is just so nice. Here is the room that we have oh. <laughs> got this nice big double bed some chairs balcony as well which is obviously a plus and a big full length mirror which is amazing because like loads of hotel rooms just don't have that which is good and then we also have a balcony i mean the view is not i have to actually unlock the door I had to unlock the door this side derelict building you know whatever but if you turn this way you can see the sea and then we've got this is a beautiful view here so like literally we are so buzzing with our hotel and everything because we got such a steal with this place like this place was not expensive well okay it was expensive for us but it's not like for what it is and for what it looks like it would should be like way more like it's so nice and we are literally obsessed aren't we alex you're gonna come be yeah. in the vlog Hello everyone. This side. Hello everyone, this is Alexis Beach. Stop. Uh, uh. What are you doing? Filming you. Why? Because I've Hello everyone. <laughs> this is so stunning. I actually can't even cope. <laughs> How many people are going to breakfast? This is gym girl breakfast. We literally like, just wanted to make sure we had all our protein in because we're not getting enough protein in at all. So we were like, breakfast is the one for all the protein. We've got the eggs, we've got the bacon, everything. We've got to get the protein in, you know? Hello everyone. <laughs> Hope you're having a lovely day. That's his input to the vlog. So we've had our breakfast and now we're just coming out to do a little bit of shopping, just like look around, walk around the island a little bit because the weather didn't start off the best this morning. It was raining, but it doesn't seem to be raining now. It's quite sunny now. So I think we're just gonna like do a little walk around, maybe pop into some shops. And yeah, and just chill really. <laughs> Ice cream. Cheers. <laughs> We found these. We found this ISO drink and it's got, what's it got in it that's so good? Electrolytes in it. So we've got a couple of them and it's lemon, but it's like subtle lemon, it's so good. And these little protein shake drinks. There's got banana flavor. I almost walked through a wall then because I wasn't concentrating. They have banana and they are tropical. So I got a tropical one and we got some croissants as well because where we're staying, we don't have lunch. And we thought we'd be able to make it from breakfast to dinner, but we can't, we're hungry. So we've bought some little snacks to have by the pool and then we're gonna go back to the pool and relax. Go on then, taste test. Oh, it's viral. <laughs> Is it van? Yeah. Oh, the squint. Okay, let me try mine. It doesn't smell that bad. This is nice. Mine's this tastes disgusting. like yogurt. Yeah. Try it. No, I'm okay. He doesn't need to traumatize. <laughs> he doesn't want to try it now. It's day three. I've got my little multivitamin drink because I forgot to bring all my vitamins with me. So we went to the supermarket and we found these like little fizzy things that you like put in your drink and they taste really good. So I've just had a magnesium one and now I've got a multivitamin one. And today we are really excited because we're going to the gym. We have found a gym that's about a 20 minute walk away. So we're gonna go ahead there and try it out. So obviously we'll be taking you along with us so you can see the gym. <laughs> had 
the most chilled out day. We literally just went to the gym this morning. We did a little bit of a session. I trained up a body. And then we came back. We sat in the pool for ages. Like we were just splashing about. It was so funny. Because it's been quite cloudy today. So the pool was like dead quiet. And it was literally just us in there. We were just having so much fun. And then we went and sat on the beach for a little bit and I read my book and now I just got ready because we're going out for dinner tonight. So we said we would go out for dinner one of the nights that we was here because we do get like breakfast and dinner from the hotel. But we thought at least one night we want to go out. So this is my look of the night. So I've got this like little brown dress on. I don't know if you'll be able to see if I do a little outfit check. I don't know if you can see from there. But yeah, so let's go do that. You wanna give your body to me Our conversation comfort each other Let's make a word, call it our Memorize something with vapors And we will make passion I'm going to run into the rain It is day five we're just chilling by the pool. We got here early this morning, even though someone already stole our favorite two benches. So we're in the second favorite spot, but best believe we will be waiting till our favorite spot comes available and then we'll be jumping there. A couple of pumas. Okay, a couple of pumas, exactly. In the foliage. <laughs> but it's nice and sunny this morning, so we are just enjoying the sun already. It's like 10 a.m. and it's already like, nice and hot so we're just gonna sit here and get a tan i'm gonna read my book wrong place wrong time and i finished reading another book yesterday so i'm on to my last book which is a bit of a worry because we are still here for another few days but tomorrow we're going to cyan park so it shouldn't matter too much which i'm excited to go to cyan park securing our spot and we're gonna sit today see those red towels there that's me and alex no one's still in our seat again. While I get ready for tonight, it's our last night here in Tenerife. So I'm gonna actually like put a little bit of effort in. So I've already got some makeup on, but I'm gonna put some more makeup on just because it's our last night. And I thought I would tell you about what happened yesterday because I realized I didn't actually explain what happened on the way to Sion Park. So we're in a little story time while I'm getting ready. Basically, we wanted to rent a car to go to Siam Park because we're on the north of the island and Siam Park's on the south of the island. So we hired a car from this like place called Sea Car or something like that. And it was over the road from my hotel. The hotel staff recommended it. So we were like, okay, cool, this sounds good. Anyway, so we, well, I can't drive, but Alex can. So Alex requested like a Fiat 500 because it was like one of the smaller cars that they had. And then when we get there, they're like, oh, we have a free upgrade. And then we look and it's like this, massive four by four like big Peugeot thing so anyway so we take this car and then on the way up we go like the we wanted to go like the shorter route because it was like less petrol or something and like we have to pay for petrol when we rent the car and we ended up going up this like massive mountain with these like small tiny twisty roads anyway it gets to a point where this gap was so narrow and we had to try and fit this car through and it was like on a hill so Alex was concentrating on getting us over the hill without dying because it was like a one it was like only the gap was only wide enough for one car and obviously it was a two-way road so cars could come over it and we were trying to go over it or whatever so it was always stressful anyway long story short the wind mirror smashes into the wall and literally I said to him I was like the wall and then it went crash bam immediately we're both like oh my god what are we supposed to do this is a rental car like it's not even our car like what what do we do now wing there had literally fallen off like down the road this old woman was like kicking it out of the way and we were just sat there like oh my god what do we even do and then eventually we decide to because the whole thing was like falling off i'll attach a picture to the screen you can't really tell because i was because we like tried to squeeze it back together we found these two builders on the side of the road and they basically taped it all up for us so we ended up having to drive back to the rental car place, this taped up mirror, and we get there and we're panicking because we're thinking, oh my God, we're gonna get fined for this. And the rental car people were like, okay, here's the keys to a new car. And it was the Fiat 500 that we were like originally wanted. So we were like obviously shocked because we thought we was gonna get hit with like a massive fine for smashing up this wing mirror but they were literally so chill about it that we literally just like okay well don't worry here's your new car and have a nice day that was it and we were so surprised because we genuinely thought we was going to get like fined like 600 euros to fix the wing mirror but we didn't and then 
and then we went to Sunland Park and that's the end of the story but I literally just thought like I had to share that because it was so funny and like of course that would happen to us you know honestly so tragic but what a tragic start to the day ended really good and we had the best time at the park and now it's our last day last evening here but to be honest with you i'm so ready to get back to my routine like as much as i love being on holiday i've had such a good time here i am ready to like get back into the gym and like back into my normal routine because i'm such a sucker for routine and just can't wait now i'm excited to get home and that is the end of our holiday and the vlog thank you so much for watching this video if you made it this far then I love you all so much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Plan to start doing some more videos. I know I say this all the time, but I do plan to start doing some more videos, some like fitness and lifestyle content. And then of course, updates on my chronic pain and living with scoliosis and just kind of how I like navigate through life and how I navigate the gym and fitness and whatnot with my chronic pain. And follow me on Instagram as well. Don't forget, it's Kelsey Louise PT. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one.